just up in Washington, D.C. last week for three days as they were preparing to go into that NDAA process, talking to a lot of my former colleagues and members of the House Armed Services Committee and also Foreign Relations Committee. And what this really comes down to is an incredible dichotomy of a choice. Either we're going to talk about military readiness or we're going to be funding leftist wokeness. And I think that we have to get back to military readiness. So let me give you a, a great case in point with this whole thing about funding travel for abortion. If I wanted to go and see one of my loved ones, uh, maybe even a mother or father, brother and sister who was sick, I have to take my own personal leave to do that. And what the Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin did by memo is a complete violation of the Hyde Amendment saying that the United States military will not only give you free leave, that means it doesn't count against your uh, days of leave that you, uh, you have, but will also pay for your travel expenses, pay for any uh, food or any of the other expenses you incurred during this time period. And the other thing I want people to understand, I think we remember that picture of that overweight, gender dysphoric, suicidal United States Army major holding up the two rainbow flags. Well, if you are someone that is suffering from gender dysphoria, which is a mental condition, uh, you can get an exemption from doing physical fitness testing. So in other words, that's part of the readiness of the military. You don't have to go out and take a physical fitness test. And you're right when you think about the fact that we're allowing people with a mental condition with uh, eight times uh, opportunity of committing suicide when I used to put soldiers out for being overweight. You cannot join the military if you have flat feet. So all of this comes back to military readiness against leftist wokeism. And if Joe Biden wants to be on the side of wokeness in the military and degrading our military readiness, and that, uh, that representative from California, let me tell you something. We have soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, and guardians that are on food stamps. I think that's more important than worrying about having drag shows on our military bases.